all the amazing call for the next year of the Along with Jay Silver, who's another graduate student here, um, I taught a class called Radical Design for Learning. We co-taught this seminar for uh, undergraduates and graduate students where we explored kind of the boundaries of learning theory and um, how to create really powerful learning experiences for each other. And we tried to actually practice that instead of just reading it about it. And so we went out in the world and did kind of lab experiences. Um, and we also had the students all create learning experiences, report back on what they had created, and then iterate, actually try them again and refine them. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. I think we all understand intuitively, if we reflect on it, that what you really learn deeply uh, from is those experiences where you're propelled by your own interest, your passion, your curiosity, and where you have an experience with the world, with materials, with ideas. Um, we don't really learn from being fed knowledge, but unfortunately that's the model in schooling. And so part of what our research group is trying to do is sort of promote this other way of thinking. Um, it's about people learning through experience, uh, and especially our focus is on a uh, learning theory that we call constructionism, which is about uh, the idea that people learn most deeply when they're engaged in constructing something personally or socially meaningful to them. It doesn't have to be a physical artifact. It can be an idea, a concept, a computer program, um, a musical composition. Uh, but it's that making of things that you care about that really makes learning happen. There's also a professor at Harvard who we're really inspired by. Um, her name is Eleanor Duckworth, and she um, has been promoting what I think is a very powerful theory of learning based on this idea called critical exploration. And it's a deep idea that's hard to describe succinctly, but my impression about it is that you can't directly teach people stuff. They have to learn by experiencing it. And so all you can do as a teacher or mentor or facilitator is help them get there. And the more you guide them, actually, the more you're taking away their opportunity to make choices. And so actually what in critical, critical exploration you try to do is set up an experience that's going to be rich with opportunities for them to ask the right questions. And you ask them questions that are more about eliciting their own ideas about the situation. And you really try to resist explaining or sort of giving them the right answer because that, again, takes away the opportunity for them to have the idea. It's awesome stuff. It is awesome <laughs> stuff.